Hello everybody, how are you today? It is Power Week. It means that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update. This time it is June 2019. <laughs> so today's video we're going to go through the reporting features that they have released and then we will go through um, the other ones on other videos this week. Okay, so in the reporting feature series my number one or two, I haven't decided yet, feature for this release. And um, we're going to go through all of them, don't worry. Um, how about we get started? Let's jump into Power BI and review these babies. Um, here's the thing. The first release is the new look on Power BI. So they have started the process to modernize the Power BI user interface on the desktop and also on the um, cloud. And they have changed a little some of the icons. Uh, they have the, the, the idea for them is to have it more like a office product, which I think is a brilliant idea. Yes. Yes, it, it is just fantastic. How far they have come with this release, I don't know. I, I'm, I haven't seen a lot of like super changes. My number one hope for this is that it doesn't crash anymore. I don't know if it does. So we will have to stress test it a little bit to see if we still have this problem crashing. If your Power BI pane freezes, remember that you can just tap to another application or minimize, maximize to just get it alive again. You don't need to close it. But just in case, hopefully that won't happen anymore with this new interface. So the next thing, it is, it, everything is gray. You know, before it was black, I don't know if you remember, but everything is gray now. I, I, I like that. I think actually it's good for one reason. And is that when, when you look at this, you see the report first. Before the only thing you saw, I saw, I have to talk about me, was the black things, the black ribbons on the side. That's gone. So now there is a super focus on the dashboard, on the cameras, and I think that is absolutely fantastic. Another thing that I noticed is that when you, you know you put all these panes here, you, you know, the canvas gets smaller and smaller, but it doesn't get as smaller as it did before, and you don't get like a before you got like a line and then it was cramped upside. That doesn't happen anymore which I think is good. Um, so it, it just resizes better. That's what I think. I like these. I think it's actually nicer. I don't know. I don't think it's a modern look. It's more like easier for the eyes look. <laughs> but, but that is a personal opinion. Obviously, you might hate it. You, you, who knows? One of the things that I was hoping with the new interface is for example, if I pick this and then I go here on the format pane and I go to a place where I have like color here. And do you know, you see that, you know, when I try to scroll down to be able to, you know, pick a color and click, okay, it doesn't let me. So I have to go up here and now do it again. And that annoys me deeply. <laughs> I have to say that. So I was hoping that this will fix it. It hasn't. But what I do hope is that they move this pane up here. And if they are going to do this uh, similar to all of their uh, office products, Excel, PowerPoint, fingers crossed that that will happen. The fields pane here for sure, but everything else up here, that would be my wish. What are your wishes for the new visualization pane? I, I, I think, uh, well, the new user interface. Go to the Power BI team and tell them. Tell them now because they're building it now. You have a possibility to have an effect on that right now so go and do it okay okay i spent three minutes talking about look and feel no good let's move along number one or number two in the list it is the visual level filters for slicers here's the thing i would i would rather i would i, I need to say this you have to use this feature with caution i think that a lot of people wanted to have this to hide blanks on slicers and that is a bad practice to have. And the fact that it was not there, you had to actually go and find out where you had a blank and remove it. 
or write something that made sense to you, not specified or unknown or, you know, or actually find, let's say that, for example, here in this country slicer, I don't have blanks. I always get rid of the blanks by finding out what the problem is. So if I would have a blank here on the country, it means most of the times, or always, obviously, but most of the times it means that some of these tables, a country um, column is missing a country. And if it's missing a country because it should be there for whatever reason, this is not country whatever, fine. But more often than not, it means just that the data is bad, that the, co the country is missing because somebody forgot to fill it in, and then when you are doing report on that country, where the country label is missing somewhere else, that data is not going to show. So you're going to get wrong results. So I thought it was actually, I, I didn't, there were some times where I needed to have visual uh, filters, visual level filters on filters. So to, to be able to go in here and apply here a, uh, a filter. There, there's been very, 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 very few, but there has been some times where I had the need for that. But the fact that now you can hide blanks is not good because again, you will get the wrong data. Okay, you need to find out why you have a blank. And once you know why you have a blank, then you can decide if you can remove it or if you have to fix it. Please do that. Otherwise your data will be wrong. But with that said, okay. Next one, sorting for the performance analyzer pane. Okay, so if we go to view performance analyzer, if you don't know what the performance analyzer is, I have two videos, one explaining the performance analyzer here and another one, um, I, you know, I created a Power BI report that takes this data and analyze it in Power BI. So go and grab that file, watch the videos so you are up to date. But this basically um, analyzes the performance of your Power BI files. Everything, not just the DAX. So how long it takes the visuals to render, how long it takes everything. And one of the uh, feedback the team got, it was we won't be able to sort by, for example, what is which one of those had the longest DAX query. In here, you cannot see it, but obviously if you export to JSON file and use my Power BI file or anybody else's Power BI file, you will be able to do that sorting without any issue. But if you want to do it right here, then now you can because you have the possibility to sort by DAX query, what's total time, for example, what's the longest one, it will sort here. You have all possibilities uh, for you to, to, to sort and see what is taking the longest on your visual, which is fantastic. Great update. Now we're coming to my favorite ones. Yes, yes, yes. Conditional formatting updates for formatting options. This is absolutely great. Okay. You have the possibility now to conditional format the background of your visuals. And it's like, oh, why would I do that? Mm, let me show you. I'm going to use this until I die. So first of all, you go to, let's pick a card. You go to a card because it's what it makes sense to actually conditional format. Well, you can do it if you're creative, you could do it in other ways, but let's do this, the obvious one. We go to the card, we go to the border, and then unfortunately, not the border, the background, Ruth. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, the conditional formatting is hidden there. Why, why? Don't do that to us, please. Nobody's going to find it there unless you know it's there. So please, Power BI team, move it somewhere else where it makes sense. Write an FX here, something that you click on it. This is super hidden. But once you know that it's there, now you know. You click on there, conditional formatting. And now you have the possibility of color scale rules and field value. Okay, so we're going to do rules. And we say that if sales after discount are greater or equal than a million, I think that's a million or less than then green. And then you can do if it is um, zero, 
a million red. Okay, so that should go a green background. And you know what? We just created a KPI. How cool is that? And the, now you can do KPIs with all sorts of things, thanks to the fact that you can color code the background. Now, I have made a video two weeks ago, I think, where I show you that you can color code or conditional format using DAX. Make sure you check that out because it will give you more flexibility about how you can conditional format stuff. Uh, so you are not limited to whatever it is here on this uh, panel. One thing that threw me off, it was that I was trying to check field value and I, it doesn't seem to work. It's, when I choose it, it just becomes red and then I could not change, I could not choose anything. The only thing I could choose if I try very hard, it was like text fields. And I don't think it's only text fields that you can use. Maybe this is something that they will develop. You, you see, nothing happens. So I don't know. I don't know is if it's broken or if it's just not meant to be. <laughs> Who knows? Or maybe here is where you do the DAX, but it doesn't allow to be pick any measures. So I don't know. Let me know if you know what's going on in there, anyhow. So you can format the background, conditional format the background of all visuals. And for cards, you can conditional format the label and the category label. Okay, so that is fantastic. You said if it is above zero or zero, you see, it changes both the um, label and also you can change the category label color here. So let's do the same just to do it very quickly. And you have everything green. Obviously, you don't want to have everything green. Probably you would like to have this uh, white, for example. So if you put revert to default, white, it will make more sense. And then you have the background as a, oh, love it, love it, love it. Fantastic. And then you can conditional format gauges. Do you know what I think of gauges? Don't use them. But if you have to use them, you can conditional format. Okay. Visual header tooltips. And uh, not sure what I think about it. Let me show you what it is first. Um, if we pick a visual and then we go in here, format pane, tooltip. No, you have to go here to the visual header. Uh, Tooltip on. No, what is it? Here it is. Visual header tooltip icon. So why couldn't I find it? Oh, it is on the visual header. Okay, gotcha. So visual header, scroll all the way down, 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 down. And then you go here to the visual header tooltip icon. And then you see nothing. So I thought, oh, I, how do I fill in the, well, you have to scroll down to, you put it on and then look, this appears down there. <laughs> this is just nuts. Okay, so appears down there, you grab it and then here you write on it. So you have to hard code the tooltip, which not so happy about actually. Um, It, it could work with some specific scenarios. One, the big pitfall I see, and this is on a personal opinion based on how I use uh, or how I create reports. I have very, very, very often, if I create a car, I format it and then I copy paste. And there is a huge risk for me that I will copy paste the tooltip in a place that shouldn't be there. Or let's say that you are you get the Power BI file from somebody else, you don't see there's a tooltip, you copy paste and then the wrong tooltip will go. Um, so I don't know, it is a bit hidden also, you have to go in here and you have to click in there and then you can have a blank tooltip, you know, if you if you just put it in there and don't feel anything, it will don't, won't do anything. I'd rather have it like if you go in here and then it will just show the tooltip automatically and to have it dynamically generated 
too. So I'm not sure about how I feel about this, actually. Just let me know what you think about it. I'm, I have to think about it if it is a good feature to use or not. So if it would create more problems. Then remember, if you have to remove all tooltips, you have to go each visual and delete. There's so much work to do when you're designing a report that this will create a maintenance nightmare honestly so i don't know i'm not i don't know let me know what you think either way so let's move on to the next one it is the um, matrix and uh, in the matrix you have the possibility now to change the total labels this is was very highly requested on twitter so they decided to uh, that was actually quite cool i saw amanda's video and uh, she, tell, she told the story that it was one of the engineers of the Power BI team that saw that on Twitter and said, gosh, I could do that in a heartbeat. So on his own time, he actually developed this feature. I think that is amazing. I think it is so cool how dedicated the Power BI team has to be to do that. So thank you very much. Yeah, I, I think it was an awesome story. Thank you, Amanda, for sharing it. It was awesome. But now you can change the labels. She shows it very well on her uh, video. And, you know, I don't know where you change that. Probably here. There you have it. So you have to, here it says, all stuff. Oh, yeah. And it will change. And if you have a step at layout, then you can change all the subtotals sub names too. So, uh, yeah, that's neat. I'm sure there are cases where that is needed. And uh, another thing that she mentioned on her video was the, the possibility to, you know, the consistent font size across mm -hmm. visuals. So apparently the Power BI I never realized that actually, that it was using both points and pixels. So when you change text to eight points, sometimes it was eight points and sometimes that converted into pixels. So you got different sizes and they are fixing that. So it will be points across the Power BI um, user interface, which is great. It is a great cleanup. So summary for me, conditional formatting. I'm going to do awesome things with it. I think it's fantastic. I think I love that feature, actually. Uh, visual level filters, be careful with that. Be careful with that. Make sure you know what you're filtering out before you actually do it with everything, obviously. But seriously, it, it will show the wrong numbers if you do. And uh, yeah, it is all for today. Um, let's continue tomorrow with more Power BI updates. Let me know what your favorite report uh, features are. And I'll see you tomorrow again. Bye-bye.